got a picture of me, please. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay, it's just a remembrance. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, so, um, I want to introduce myself. I'm in Bal, my name is in Bal. I live here, down the valley. You know uh, a bit of Israel? You travel some? Yeah. Or yeah, nothing? I, I did that. So, you all come from uh, Haifa? Yeah. Yes. yes. And uh, may I ask what are you doing? What is your. Uh, we are in the Pet. And you have a lot. We are in the Pet. And you we have a lot. We are in the Pet. Yeah. Yes. yeah. And you are in a vacation now? Yes. yes. Day of fish. Day of fish. Okay. Nice. Good. I'm going to go to the Pet. Okay. So, here it's actually what we're going to yeah. do here in the time that we have. Uh, I want to explain to you a bit of this part of Israel, okay? The valley of uh, Beit She'an, ancient city, Beit She'an from the Bible. Now we call it the fountain or the lake valley because we have here many, many lakes and fountains and water all year long. Maybe you know the Sahne, you've heard of the yeah. Sahne? Okay. So the Sahne is down there. Okay, the Sahne is a big place, very beautiful, nice place. And 28 degrees all year long. And you can go there and uh, refresh yourself. And uh, around it are many, many lakes that you can travel and go and get inside with uh, nice water, a nice fish that eats your uh, feet, uh, beats your feet. So uh, I want to explain a bit of the, this area and then the, this center of uh, renewal energy. As you can see, we have the wind, called the wind farm, okay? Because instead of uh, uh, the fields, okay, we have wind farm, okay? And, and the history of that is because uh, uh, two reasons. One is the, the biblical reason, maybe you know, on this mountain, the Gilboa, there was a big uh, war back then when the King uh, Saul and Jonathan, his son, were fighting here uh, against the Plishtim, and they lost, okay, they lost, and uh, David, the king that came after them, uh, it was very close to Jonathan. You know the story? Yes. So he was so sad and angry that they died. So he cursed this mountain, the Gilboa mountain, that we are on it right now. Uh, have a curse. This is the ancient story. And uh, the, the climate story is that here we have so many winds so if we want to make agriculture here, fields on the kibbutz want to make agriculture, so they cannot make actually good agriculture because the rain with the wind is not sinking down, okay? So uh, well, the when the first pioneers and settlements came to settle the, the Gilboa mountain, they tried and tried to make agriculture. And because of that reason that there is a lot of wind uh, and the rain, when it comes, it just, okay, uh, flows away. Uh, so you can uh, believe uh, uh, what story do you, do you want to believe? <laughs> the curse of the, the, the actual story. Uh, and actually now, in the, the last few years, we have many, many rains, many, many water and uh, now you can see that this kibbutz, Ma'ale Gilboa, Ma'ale Gilboa is the kibbutz that, that owns all this uh, center and fields and they have nice agriculture now. It's okay. Okay? Uh, so uh, before I'm going to speak about all this uh, project, I want you to look at the, the valley. Now we, we don't have such good uh, sites, okay? But over there, you see these mountains? Okay, this is a different country. Do you know who lived there? Do you know what country it is? Palestine? 
This is Jordan. Jordan. Yes, the kingdom, kingdom of Jordan. Okay. So this is the Mount Gilad. Also, you can find it in the Bible, Mount Gilad. So this valley is between the Jordan, okay, the Gilad, and the Gilboa, okay? And the, the land over there is very fertile, okay? Uh, because this all, uh, we, we are standing on a, a valley that made from uh, earthquakes, okay? 25 million years yes, ago. 25 million years, there was a big, big, big earthquake that made this uh, valley and that grew away the mountains, okay? So when, uh, before Israel came, uh, got the independency at the uh, 1948, uh, uh, some, uh, some pioneers came from uh, Eastern Europe and they saw this beautiful land, okay? They say, Let's make a special uh, uh, group that's called kibbutz. You've been to a kibbutz? Small uh, communities that everyone's work for one another. It doesn't make uh, a lot of money. It's not so important. Uh, it's not so important to wear nice clothes. It doesn't, it's not important at all. Uh, but what's important is to make agriculture and make a, a new society yeah, in yeah. the land. And they, came, and they came and they started this society over there, near, nearby the Sahne, where all the lakes were. Back then it was uh, not so nice and clean. Uh, many mosquitoes and uh, malaria. But even though they wanted to make this uh, community, they call it Tel Amal, the first kibbutz called Tel Amal in 1936, okay? Tel Amal is the place where people work. Okay, there were people of work. They were very skinny, <laughs> didn't have much uh, food, but they were happy, okay? And they make all these uh, sep new settlements, uh, they have to build it by, by night. Because back then there was uh, the, the English mandate, the British mandate, uh, the, the British were in this Israel, uh, uh, they, were, they, they were the rulers, and they said if you uh, build a home or a community uh, which have a roof and a towel to, to watch, okay, so we won't uh, ruin it, okay? So they were very hurried to make this new uh, community, and they call it Homa Wigdal. You've heard of it? This kind of settlement was uh, back then, in the early when, before Israel uh, got the uh, independence. Okay? So, like this, in this valley, many, many other kibbutz were started to build themselves. Okay? And this valley came very uh, fruitful, fertile, poret, poret. Okay? And all this, uh, the, the food the, that actually came to, our, to your plates until now, all the, uh, uh, olives and mango and uh, oranges and onion and potatoes and, and uh, fish and milk, everything comes from the valley, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, and when Israel got the independence, 48, we see even more kibbutz and settlement, over there you see the religious kibbutz, okay? We have a split part of the, the one that very uh, not religious and very religious, okay? And over here, Maale Gilboa is also Bnei Akiva. Bnei Akiva is uh, Jews, okay? That uh, uh, we call it uh, kibbutz but not so religious like uh, in Jerusalem. Uh, they're, they're very, uh, uh, I don't know how to say it in English, um, idealistic, okay, idealistic to the land. They want to make it very uh, nice land, <clears throat> okay, and they are very open in the mind, but they want to be uh, still religious Jews. So over there, 
the kibbutzes, that's the Eliyahu and Anatsi, Gerard Svi, but very, very religious, okay? And uh, even more to the uh, south, the people that came from Iraq and Kurdistan uh, also make uh, settlements. And, uh, and then, at 1962, the government of Israel started to uh, see it in this mountain, this, this line of mountain with nothing, okay? So best over there is the green line. You know the green line? Green line in Israel, over the green line is the uh, Jenin, Mikala, and Shechem, okay? Mm -hmm. The places that he doesn't own. Okay, so even though the government said, okay, we we'll start this kibbutz and they guide this line. Okay, but as I told you before, the people that, that want to make uh, life and prosperity in the Gilboa uh, took place and, and they saw we, ca we cannot make nothing in this land. Okay, so. Uh, at the early 70s, 1970s, one of the great brains over there, he, he thought we have this wind all the time, very strong wind. Now it's, we don't feel so strong, right? Okay, but usually you can uh, feel very strong wind up until uh, 100 kilometers per hour, which is very strong. Okay, and they started to measure the, the wind. How, how much wind we have in the Gilboa by hours and by uh, all year, all year long. So what do you say? How many hours or uh, hours per day or per, per uh, one year in the Gilboa? Can you measure? No, oh, it's too much. <laughs> it's too much. Okay. About? Like uh, four times three hundred sixty. Twenty-four hours, you say? Yeah. Twenty-four hours. Three hundred sixty. Okay. If we split it today, so it's about uh, uh, six hours per day. Uh, yeah, and all year, all year long, so it's about uh, two thousand and five hundred wind hours of wind. So they say, okay, it's nice wind, okay? And we're in trouble. Maybe we can make some uh, electricity and the electricity makes money, right? Yeah. Everyone wants electricity, we need electricity. And Israel was a bit late uh, from uh, Europe and the United States. And uh, they, they brought one, one turbine. This turbine was uh, very little back then. And uh, they saw that it could work, okay? With a very simple man manganon. You can see. Vega. Yeah. Vega, you know. Vega, Vega. Vega. Don't publish it in YouTube. <laughs> it's viral. <laughs> okay. So each turbine, you can see the inside, okay? In, in, in Hebrew, we call it kishkes. You know kishkes? What's inside? Kishkes. Tell me. Kishkes. Kishkes. Okay. Okay. So we have a generator, okay? I'm, I'm just joking with you. Uh, we have a generator, okay, inside with dynamo. You know dynamo? Yeah. Dynamo. Dynamo, exactly. And around it, yeah. we have uh, magnets. So when the wind starts to uh, turn, these uh, wings inside, it gets a lot faster. Okay? And when you go faster, 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 we have the electricity. Very simple. You can make it. Okay? And then you'll be very rich. <laughs> okay. So they brought just one turbine, very small one from Holland. Now it's over there, okay? It doesn't work anymore. It, they took it down for you. One piece? Nah, back then, just only one to, to measure it. See if it's good. 
And to build all these, they don't even have money, okay? So this, you know how, how much it cost? 200 million shekels. Okay? Oh, wow. One turban is one million. So how many turbines? So when the, this man that tried to think larger, not, not from here, uh, the, the man was, uh, was uh, Shlomo Schmelzer. Shlomo Schmelzer is one person that started from nothing. He had nothing. Okay, and then he had many ideas, and he became a millionaire. Okay, he became a millionaire, but simply uh, uh, take some cars and uh, rent it to the Sahal, to the military force, and they paid him. Okay, he slowly, slowly get a lot of cars and got a lot of a lot of money, uh, and this uh, Shlomo had uh, thought about making a wind farm, okay? Not to benefit just himself, okay? Because we have, if we have this wind farm and we get the electricity from uh, renewable energy, okay? The wind costs something. We paid about the wind. We pay the wind to come. We pay the sun to shine. No, they just come and come and come, right? So we can use it to make profit, to make profit to the people, okay, electricity, to the earth, okay, the warm uh, globalization, okay, to get it lower, and he of, he of course get his percentage, okay, and also my legil boa, the kibbutz that didn't have money, so, and can, and can with the so they got their profit, okay, so it's nice win, 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 win situation. Okay, okay. Uh, so here we have 14 and another 11 just a bit to the north, okay? Uh, and now we're going to make a uh, round and we're going to see another post, okay? okay? So if you want to ask me, like, uh, how much electricity or something, I want you to ask, okay? So we go. Thank you. Let's go, Thank you. Thank you. Let's go to the, another uh, point. Ito yung second station daw. Ay, 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 second station. Ah, i-explain yung ano. Bimili tayo ng isa niya. Yung mili natin dun sa Dor Carmen. Dun sa ano pala. Gitna na ng Golda. Parang hindi na tayo pupunta dito. Mainit dito. Asa na ba si Bro? Naku, kainit. Maganda pa yung picture ko sa inyo. Mm -hmm. Wala yung sombrero. Para tayong mga ano. Eh, no, pwede natin ikuha tayo. Wala, yung ina natin. Oh, no, yung ina natin. Kaya natin yan. Want to try also? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you want? I feel like someone very famous with all these uh, cameras. Hang on, bro. Also, let's see if there is a wind. Okay. Take one. Okay. How much? Okay, so if we want to make electricity from wind, we need the wind to be at least 11 kilometers per hour. From 11 till 45 kilometers per hour, this is the place, okay? This is the amount of the, this is the kilometers that we make electricity from wind. Okay, but, but what happened when the wind is stronger than 45 uh, kilometers per hour, okay? Because you remember that I told you we have a uh, so strong wind, like one, 100 kilometers per hour, okay? So we, this manganon can stop, okay? If, if he sees, if he feels, you see the sensor back there? 
Oh. Okay, see this sensor at the back of the nasal? This is nasal. Okay, we call it nasal. Nasal. Okay, it, it, uh, uh, it weights uh, 35 uh, tons. Just the nacelle, okay? Uh, the the pod uh, right. with the generator and the wings, okay? This is 35 tons. Wow, wow. Yeah. Heavy. yeah. Okay, this this is 44 meters long and we have 19 meters in the ground. Down wow. In the ground. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you can calculate. Okay? So it came, the turbines came from Spain. It took like uh, 15 years just to bring them. Wow. 15 years. Wow. Why? Why? Because, you know, in Israel everything is very hard and we have to ask the military force, okay? Mm. The, okay, all this uh, area we have uh, planes. So, this master of the. The signal. signals. Okay. And also we have birds. Okay. So we want to consider the nature and the the the, the green for the green or the green the How does it go? How does it go to them? In cables. In cables. Yeah, ah. yeah, in cables down the mountains. And there's a station over there, down there. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So we see the next stop now. Okay. South, east, north, north, 
over south, there? east, west. North, north, north is over there. Uh, east, west, north, and east, south. 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 Okay. South. The wind in east, west mostly came come from the seas. Okay, from the Mediterranean. Okay, and the reason is because of the sun. Okay, the sun actually brings us the wind because the sun gets the ocean. Thank you. 
functioning, standing and function functioning. Okay, so it's very immune actually. Yeah. And not so long into the party already. Yeah, and making uh, electricity. Uh, okay? And this project, the uh, storage, is from the uh, 